In severe cases of COVID-19, patients sometimes develop a lung condition, whereby the lungs cannot provide the body's vital organs with enough oxygen and they need the help of a ventilator to stay alive. Ventilators work by taking over the work of the lungs and keeping oxygen pumping around the body. But with the rapid increase in patients needing ventilators due to COVID-19, there's a concern that there won't be enough. And so, the UK government have asked for support in the design and supply of ventilators. One group of researchers answering that call is an interdisciplinary team of engineers and medics from King's College London and the University of Oxford. We spoke to Dr Federico Formenti, Senior Lecturer in Human Physiology and lead academic along with Professor Sebastian Orselin from King's College London. Our proposal uh, is to produce uh, a ventilator which is first of all safe. It is uh, simple in terms of its design and, uh, and operation and also obviously it's scalable so that it can be produced on a large scale in a short period of time. The key aspect of our proposal is that it's based on a very constructive collaboration with several different individuals with different expertise. Key, first of all, is the clinical uh, component of the team uh, that informs the uh, engineering component of the team of the clinical requirements and via an iterative uh, approach, uh, uh, we agreed a uh, prototype. In terms of the time scale, we're looking at producing these ventilators in the coming weeks, uh, in thousands, and perhaps in this sense, uh, another interesting aspect is that we're looking at something which costs uh, uh, in surely less than a thousand pounds per unit, very uh, simple to assembly, and uh, hence meets most of the criteria which are required in the current context.